In this video, we're going to spend a little time converting decimals to the nearest uh, 64th of an inch or 32nd of an inch or 16th of an inch. So I have 1.144 inches. The part that I need to do the conversion on isn't the 1, it's the 0.144. So I take the 0.144 and I multiply this by 64. When I multiply this by 64, I get 0.144 multiplied by 64 gives me 9.2. So 9.216. So 9.216 is closer to 9 than it is 10. So 1.441 is approximately equal to 1 and 9 64ths. So 1 and 9 64ths. And there isn't much more I can do with that. I'm not going to be able to reduce 9 64ths because it doesn't reduce. So then if they're asked to determine whether or not if I drill a hole with a 9 19 64th of a hole, will it be within the required tolerance? So I need to know if I have 0.277 plus my tolerance, is that number going to be within the 19 64ths? So I have 0.277, I'm going to add to it 0 0.005, and I end up with a number of 0.282. Now I'm going to multiply that by 64 to determine what my numerator would be in the fraction for an equivalent fraction, approximate equivalent fraction. So I multiply that by 64 and I end up with 18.048. So that's approximately equal to 18. 18 is closer to 18 than it is 19. So I know that if I have a hole that's required to be point 277 with a tolerance of 0 0.005 on either side, so plus or minus 0 0.005, that if I um, drill a hole that is 1964, it will not be within the tolerances. However, so the answer is no. However, 1864 would be within the tolerance. So what we do on this is we just do the equivalent decimal, or I could have done the 19 divided by 64. If I did 19 divided by 64, I would have gotten, so 19 divided by 64 is equal to 0.296875. And we can see that is larger than what I get to have for my whole plus the tolerance. Okay, let's take a look at the last one here. And they're asking me to figure out what this would be to the nearest 32nd of an inch. So I'm going to take my point two, my 3249, multiply it by 32. And I get 32 times point 0.3249. I end up with 10.3968. Now this is closer to 10 than it is 11. So 10 over 32 is approximately equal to the 0 0.3249. Now it's not going to be exact because I did a rounding here. So 10 over 32 is approximately equal to 0 0.3249. So this actually reduces by a factor of 2. So that's 5 here and 16 there. So 5 sixteenths. And then what is the error? Well, the actual is the 0 0.3249. What I found, however, when I take 5 and divide it by uh, 16, I get 0.3125. So the difference then is 0.3249, tracked off 0.3125, and the difference is 0 0.0124. 0 0.0124. So let's talk a little bit about why we're doing all of this. Well, on each one of these, starting with this, is I want to know what would be an appropriate numerator so that when I divide it by 64, I get 0.144. So I think about x, some value, some numerator over 64 is going to be as close to 0.1, so not the 0.1, not one point. It'd be 0.144. 
So we know at this point we can cross multiply and so the best one I would have is 64 multiplied by 0 0.1, 0.144. I don't know why I keep wanting to put that decimal in there. I guess I just really like decimals right there. So then I'm gonna use the, the, the rounded whole number for my numerator. I'm not the whole reason that we're doing this is so we don't have decimals in our numerator. So that's how come here I multiplied the, the decimal part times 64. The closest whole number this is to is nine. So 1.144 is closest to approximately equal to one and then 964. So that's how come I only worry about the decimal place here and the same thing down here. I only care about the decimal place so I can get an appropriate numerator over whatever it is I'm asked to find. In this case was the 64ths.